parents, this video is for you. It is imperative that we pay attention to what is going on in our schools. I got a permission slip recently from my daughter's school and we live in a fairly conservative area next to Akron, Ohio. The permission slip was for her to attend health class. Mind you, she is in fifth grade. It had the syllabus on there and a link to show you what material she will be learning. I did some research and you will be astounded, oh my gosh, blown away by what they are trying to teach my fifth grader. Watch this video. It is absolutely disgusting. Yes, yes, come on, yes, oh yes. Aha! What are you doing there? You've had an apple one day. You'll go blind. I'm coming! How many times is too many to masturbate in one day? Hashtag ask amaze. There's no limit on the number of times a person can masturbate each day. I have another question. Sometimes my penis stands up in the air and it feels good when I touch it. When your penis stands up, it's called an erection. Girls also have a private part that they may want to touch because it feels nice. The clitoris. It's okay. Mind you, I'm reminding you, the video is for fifth graders. And we on the right are saying that the left is trying to over sexualize our children. This is exactly what we're talking about. And they want to gaslight us and pretend that it's not happening. In what world does a fifth grader need to learn how to masturbate? Now, this is just the beginning. They start in fifth grade and they work their way up. Here are just some of the videos that are on this Amaze website. I encourage you to go check them out yourself. This is not the only website that they will use to teach our children as well. The sad part is, in order to get federal funding, they have to do these programs. When you're born, your sex is assigned in a medical way, but the sex listed on your birth certificate may not necessarily match your gender identity. Gender identity is a person's inner experience of who they are in terms of gender, their deep personal sense of being male, female, a blend of both, or neither. And while many people have a gender identity that's the same as their assigned birth sex of female or male, that's not always the case because gender exists on a spectrum. Like transgender, which means a person whose gender identity is not consistent with their assigned birth sex. Non-binary, which means a person whose identity doesn't fall in the category of either male or female. And genderqueer or gender fluid, which means a person who does not identify themselves as having a specific gender at all. Does gender identity have to do with being straight or gay? Actually, no. Gender identity has to do with the way you feel about yourself, while sexual orientation is based on the way you feel toward others. The people. Luckily, in Ohio, you can opt out. I don't know about other states. You'll have to dig into that further. I found on Ohio Protects Children a opt-out form. I'm going to show it right here for you. So this form I sent to my principal and assistant principal. They got back to me and said that my daughter will not be attending any health classes whatsoever. Now, mind you, I'll have to do this every single year, every single grade, but I don't mind. The only thing that sucks is I know that other students are going to attend this class and maybe my daughter will ask them, well, what was the class about? So inevitably, I can't keep her from this because of the public school system. And this reason alone is why I am running for school board in Ohio this upcoming election. Parents, please, please pay attention to what is going on in our schools. If we are not aware, this will continue. Also, don't forget to share this with a friend. A lot of parents really don't know what's going on, and I don't blame you for that whatsoever. But after watching this video, you have to get informed. Thank you so much for watching. Stay informed.